Life Track with Chuck Swindoll is a presentation of Insight for Living Canada. I was uh, living in Southern California for almost 25 years. I remember driving along the San Joaquin Valley, which you often do on Highway 5 coming from Northern to Southern California, and stopping at a gas station where there was a swarm of locusts that had come through. It was like nothing I'd ever seen in my life. The sky was dark with them. The service station where I stopped to get gas was covered with them. You couldn't even see the pump. When you reach out to get the nozzle, you had to push these uh, sorry creatures away, and you, and you get a hold of them, you think, well, I hope they don't get in the tank. And you reach in, and you, you're, they're just <laughs> all over there. They are there by the multiplied millions. Much more I could say about locusts. I looked up locusts, and I could still be reading what it says on the Internet about locusts. I mean, I, I could hardly sleep that night after reading about the locusts. I thought they were all over the bed. They, all these things are everywhere. Miserable. Our younger son, Chuck, was in Tennessee for some years, and while there, a swarm came through there and stripped him bare. Some of those uh, plants that he had, and he said, that is like nothing you've ever seen in your life. They are absolutely miserable insects along with the dropping of eggs that stay in the ground for a number of years, and then when they pop up, then they multiply, and then they're back again. They come every so many years, and when they come, they leave devastation in their wake. But this isn't a study on insects. <laughs> this isn't about locusts. This is about life. As a matter of fact, what is interesting is that the Lord calls these piranhas of the sky his army, his army that he has sent among the nation. In other words, these are nothing more or less than divine discipline that has come in the wake of disobedience. You track me in this? And that is exactly where some of you find your life. It's exactly where you are today. Uh, I have now uh, almost 40 years in ministry, and I can tell you many of those uh, years have been spent dealing with people wrestling with remorse. Uh, John Greenleaf Whittier, no pun intended, wrote, For of all sad words of tongue or pen, the saddest are these, it might have been. It might have been. Those are sad words, aren't they? I looked up Webster's and found the word remorse, and was, I smiled when I saw the definition taken literally from the dictionary. Remorse is a gnawing distress arising from a sense of guilt for past wrongs. I would say it is a gnawing distress arising from a sense of guilt for past wrongs that have not been addressed, confessed, and corrected. We all have a past that's strewn with the litter of failure and regression. We all have known unproductive days. We all have failed. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of our God. This isn't about that. This is about falling short and not addressing it, not dealing with it, letting the locusts fly, eat, lick, gnaw, strip a life bare. When you don't deal with the trash from your past, it can eat away at you like an army of locusts. God is not waiting to condemn you for your past wrongs. He's waiting to embrace you and forgive you. He meets you right where you're at today. This is Steve Johnson of Insight for Living Canada. Listen to more of Chuck Swindoll's Lifetrack messages at lifetrack.ca. Lifetrack where life and truth meet. The preceding Life Track presentation was brought to you by Insight for Living Canada. The original message, looking back, clearing away the trash we regret.
was copyrighted in 2001, and this Life Track sound recording was copyrighted in 2012 by Charles R. Swindoll Incorporated. All rights are reserved worldwide.